Well, it is time for KTAB's Big Country Beat. That's where BCH's Carly Cross dives into the stories that you have been clicking on the most this week. Carly, what have you got for us? Hey Joni, tonight we have a million dollar house finding a new owner and an accusation surrounding a complex love triangle. Keep watching for this week's Big Country Beat. Starting low with number five, it's not shaping up to be a white Christmas here in Abilene. Meteorologist Darius Stringer dives into the El Nino influence on the winter months expected here. He says we'll likely get just above average conditions for that time of year. And number four, we brought you this story just yesterday. Two suspects ran from police on foot after an attempted traffic stop didn't go as planned just outside of Cisco. Today, three men were identified and arrested by Cisco police. Driver Keeve Mollis, passenger Wade Cox, and Kevin Thomas or Rogers. Police identify him as both. The three are charged with possession of marijuana and other individual evasion charges. Coming in at number three, police investigate a motorcycle crash in downtown Abilene that took the life of 28-year-old Eugenio Cruz when he collided at, with an SUV at an intersection. Next up, Abilene police are also investigating a homicide from last weekend. Matthew Haynes was accused of killing Mackenzie Chastang. Court documents say the two men were seeing the same woman leading to the gunfire. Haynes remains in the Taylor County Jail on a half million dollar bond. Now I want to take just a minute to dive into how this information played out on social media. Some took to humor in the comments like Beatrice here relating the situation to the Twilight Saga, but others were more baffled and disappointed in their community. Like Chris here saying no person is worth a life across the board. This was one story you found to be quite intriguing, but not quite so as intriguing as this one. Number one on web, it's that condemned million dollar home again, but this time we have a buyer. The deal is projected to officially close in December, but the new owners are already filing construction permits to finally finish the house. All right, well, that is all I have for this week's Big Country Beat. Today's top story that's going to be our arrest out of Cisco. Joni. Thank you, Carly. So be sure to check in with BigCountryHomePage.com online and with our mobile app. And KTAB is also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for all of our top stories. You can read them all there.